Joe is what was born in 1920 in Radom, Poland, and his family was Jewish. And when uh, Poland was invaded by Germany in 1939, as you know, they uh, shortly thereafter moved all the area Jewish people into uh, two areas of town. In, they were the ghetto parts of the town that they were imprisoned in. And Joe and his family was were sent there. Joe had an identical twin, a widowed mom, and three other siblings that he was really close to. So just, it was a really loving, tight-knit, wonderful family that had been, uh, they had lost their father when Joe was just five years old. So they had all worked really hard to uh, take care of each other and, and keep food on the table. So just a really warm and loving family. And um, then of course their world was turned upside down when Joe was set to the ghettos. About two weeks after they were moved into the ghetto, Joe was taken at four o'clock in the morning um, and put aboard a open air truck and it was very cold outside. He was barefoot. He was just wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, matter of fact, when they, when they came to take him away at four in the morning, when they just showed up pounding on the door and he, um, he knew that, that it was his responsibility to answer the door being the oldest male in the house at the time. And, uh, so he opened the door and these, these, um, German soldiers were standing there with machine guns and ordered him to leave. And, you know, he, he said, but I need to say goodbye to my family. I need to change my clothes. And they said, you have everything you need. And he said, he looked down at his shorts and his bare feet and he thought everything I need. And they marched him out into the cold air, put him aboard this tr open air truck, huddled with strangers. And he never saw his family again, not, not any of them. Um, they were all believed murdered at the Treblinka um, death camp, along with nearly 30,000 other Jewish people and, and, and people from the Radom area. He was a slave laborer um, in uh, almost five years of his life. He was a slave laborer and he was, he spent over two and a half years at Auschwitz-Birkenau and then he was uh, sent to various other camps and yeah, his, his story was just, um, you know, heartbreaking in the sense that, you know, he never, he never saw anyone he knew or loved again. And yet um, Joe's story is so remarkable in what he did after the war um, in terms of moving on with his life. You know, he was, here's a human being that lost virtually everything a person can lose. Everyone he knew and loved was, was murdered or was killed during the war in one form or the other. Um, he didn't have a home, a country, a possession. You know, just, it's, it's really unimaginable that what he lost and yet how he was able to move forward and, you know, live a, a remarkable and joy-filled life. He didn't become self-destructive. He didn't turn to evil. Um, you know, he was a man who saw literally the worst in mankind and human beings. And yet he believed in the best. He loved people. He loved life. And he was truly one of the most joy-filled people I've ever met in my life. He just radiated joy.